Hi guys, my name is Behrouz. Welcome back to the Rust Blockchain tutorial series. Thus far, we've built a blockchain that has all the key features that we really need. Anonymous and secure randomly generated addresses, blockchain data storage, proof of work system, a way to start transaction, and all of the features are crucial, but they are not enough. And that's because we need a network blockchain by definition or distributed system, which means they should be shared between peers. And currently our blockchain only works on a single computer. For our version of this peer-to-peer -peer network, we are going to simplify things quite a bit because we don't have a multiple computers and because we just want to run off I run it up on a local machine uh, we are essentially going to make it so that uh, each piece of the machine contains its own version of the blockchain in this video we are gonna actually build a build the logic for the network and in the next video we are going to implement it into the blockchain so here we want to make a server file uh, and then at this we want to go ahead and define some constant. At the top of this file, we are going to define a version and this will be one by default. And then we'll define the command length, which will be 12. I explain more about what the version and command length are as we go further through our code. And then we are going to create an, uh, current node addresses this this will be unique for each node then we need to create a two different structs for uh how to keep uh communication with the each node so we create a server and server in our struct and let me explain what are those so in a server in it we have a high set of springs uh, will be contains all of these uh, local host addresses that are connected to this network. Then uh, we need to some way of describing block as are being sent from one client to the next. So we'll create uh, this block in transit. Then we have a UTXO set here. If you don't know what is the UTXO set, uh, please go watch and uh, go watch previous videos. Then we need a way of containing our blockchain transaction. So we can create a map which contains a string which will be a transaction ID and then the actual value will be transaction itself. Our blockchain is going to have uh, various different messages that it can send and send back and forth between each of the nodes so we want to create different structures which will allow us to essentially identify the types of data that we want to send back and forward so we'll have a block structure which will take the address that the block is being built from and then the block itself and we'll be able to identify where the block is coming from we want to be able to get the block from one node and send them to another so we can create a structure called a good block msg which will contain an address and when we call a get blocks command, uh, it will just go and fetch the blockchain from one of the nodes and then copy it over to another node. Then we'll have a generic data, get data structure message. Uh, this will have the address string, then it will have a kind for the data. This could be a transaction or a block, and then uh, it will have the ID of the data. So this part of our application won't deal with the actually getting the device data from calling a block or a transaction and sending it from node to node. Let's create an inventory struct. This will have an address and uh, a kind it can contain the transaction or blocks. And then we can put 
uh, the transactions or blocks into uh, items. And then we need a struct to represent a transaction. So we'll have the address and then the actual transaction. And then finally, we need a struct to represent the version and the version has a version integer, a base height integer, and then the address. Let's kind of walk through the way that we want this network work in our implementation of this network. We'll have our central node, which will be the local host, the 3000 port. And note this is a node that need will connect to, and this is the node that will send data between all of the other nodes. We'll have a minor node. This is a node that will store the transaction in the memory pool. And then when, uh, there's enough transaction, it will mine a new block. And then uh, we'll have a wallet node. Uh, and this is a node that will be need to send coins between wallets through, unlike an SPV node, it will have a full copy of the transactions, full of the blockchain, sorry. So then we need to create an enum message to get right message from the right command to call the right method from our server. So we create them in a message, put the address, version, transaction message, gate data message, get block, inventory, and the block message. Okay, we start to create a new method for our server. The, our new method has a port, mining address, and UTX offset, and as a return, we return a result of the server. So we start to create a hash set and put a, a no node from the cons. And uh, then we create a, a new server. We pass a node address that be a port and the local host for address. We pass a mining address too. And also we create a, a inner server in a to pass a node set utxo set and we create an empty work for blocking transit and uh, a new hash map for uh, memory pool for next method we create handle connection we pass the tcp stream and as a result as a return we return an empty result Inside the method, we have an empty create empty buffer and read all bytes from the stream. Then we need to convert the buffer to the mass current message and uh, do some functionality on that message. Let me go to the bytes to CMD function. Okay, in the bytes to CMD, we create a uh, empty wake as a command and we just read the bytes with the 12 length as you can as you can remember we just read the 12 uh 12 length of the bytes because uh, our uh, command our commands will be just 12 less than 12 left okay so the rest of the bytes is going to be data to deserialize data to current message. And as you can see, we compare the CMD. If the CMD equal to equal to address, we deserialize to the wake of a string and pass to the message address. Or if the CMD was blocked, we deserialize the data to block message or if the message was inventory, we serialize to inventory message and so on for get blocks and get data or transaction and version, we do the same. And at the end of the method function, we return an error. So let's come back to the handle connection. We pass a CMD to the match and we check which uh, message do we get and after we check, we create a, a method for uh, all of them to check and do some functionality. 
Now let's create a method which will allow us to send data from one node to another. We want to connect to the internet and check the address. Before we use a TCP stream, we need to check if the address is equal to uh, the node address. That means you don't need to send data to yourself. So we return OK. Then we use a TCP stream. Uh, connect function and pass the address to get a stream if we have an error we need to remove the node because this address uh, doesn't exist in the blockchain in the network anymore so we use the uh, remove method to remove a node from known nodes so we use a inner a lock the inner because we don't want to uh, access we don't want to anyone access the inner when we want to remove okay <clears throat> and pass address and remove the uh, node uh, from the known nodes so if the okay we return a stream and we write a data to the stream and return okay and then let's start by making a new method for sending address from one of our peers to the other so we pass the address to the method and as a result as a return as a return we return an empty result so first we need to get all nodes from the network so we create another method to get a known a nodes then uh, we need to uh serialize the data and also the command and pass to the send send data uh method to send to the specific uh node so uh before we serialize we need to convert the address to the byte so we create a uh helper function cmd to bytes to convert our address to the bytes and we return the data and in the next thing we pass to the serialize is nodes so uh, we pass the nodes and deserialize to the data and send the data to the specific node so we have another method uh, called send blog which is very similar to the send address method except we are passing a block here so in the, this method we create a uh, block message clone the block and also we clone the node addresses and pass to the serialize with the current command uh, which is block and pass to the send data to send the block to the uh, specific nodes now I'm sure you guys you can see the pattern that's sort of forming here. Now let's create uh, another method to be able to send an inventory. This will have an address and kind and also items. And in this method we create a inventory message and pass to the serialize with the in inv command and after we serialize we send the data and we have another method for send transaction so uh, we create a transaction message with the tx command and data we serialize both of them and pass to the send data with the specific address and also we have uh, another method called send version this will be taking address and string and then uh, the create a version message and we create a write command which is version and we, we deserialize them deserialize them with the data and uh, pass to the send data to send the version to other nodes okay guys that's enough for uh, this video in the next video we are going to complete uh, our uh, handle uh, methods uh, take care